This is Hazel Pre Hazel Prevot, and this is this is her grandfather Nineveh, which was Ross's brother, right? Hazel. And he was Nineveh Harris. Nineveh Harris, okay. Tell me what you remember about Nineveh. I remember he was really kind and friendly, and that he was he was smart. He wrote a column for the I don't know if it was called the Courier or whatever the Ashboro paper was. He wrote an article about all the activities in Jackson Creek, and he wrote a really nice one one time about how things were surveyed and what it, what the names were, and there was some controversy about that, so he got them straight. Did he? Yes. Was he in the surveying business? No. Oh, okay. But, but all of these Prevost boys were smart. Mm-hmm. And when he married my grandmother, Andrew Wesley and Louisa weren't happy about that at all because, first of all, she was a Nance, and the world is full of them up there. But she had had a child out of wedlock, and then she had a second child out of wedlock. So they weren't real happy to have her for a daughter-in-law. They weren't? You mentioned earlier that she, she was his downfall. That's what you said, I believe. <laughs> but by the time she had that first boy and his name was Charles Walton, mm -hmm. nobody could have produced a better boy, according to my great-grandmother. <laughs> she thought he was the berries. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have my great-grandmother's Sunday bonnet, mm -hmm. like this poke bonnet. It's it's a black taffeta, and my aunt uh, Mary saved everything. She was a bigger pack rat than me, and I didn't think anybody could top me, but she did. And she gave it to me, and I have it in a big bonnet box. Mm -hmm. And somebody broke in my house over here after I moved across the road. I still had the stuff in there, and they stole it. But don't you know they found it and recovered it in a second-hand store. No kidding. So I, I got my bonnet back. Now that would have been uh, Andrew Wesley's? Andrew uh, Wesley's wife, Nancy Louisa Harris Prevost. Okay. Mm -hmm. It belonged to her. So I'm, that's the only thing I have that was hers. Mm -hmm. And I'm tickled to death to have it. And, and when we had a celebration here for the I, I think it was a bicentennial. Mm -hmm. Craven County did a lot of stuff and they did stuff at Tryon Palace. So all the ladies had dresses made with the things on them and down to there and a bonnet. And mine was black but it had pink flower type things in it. <laughs> and one Sunday I put that dress on in the bonnet and come up here. <laughs> and my daddy said, I never thought I'd see that bonnet again. <laughs> but he remembered her wearing it. Yeah. So that's neat. I still got the bonnet. You do? I outgrew the dress, but I got the bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, now, you said earlier that uh, you had a boss that asked you um, something about your French heritage. What, what yeah, did you he, say? I, when I told him, I'm, when we did the histories, we always got your given name and your uh, birth name and mm -hmm. then your married name. And uh, so when I told him my middle name, my regular name was Prevost, mm -hmm. I, that's when he told me that I did not look like I was French. <laughs> and that's when I told him that there was so much fraternizing with the enemy, that's why I didn't look. <laughs>